morning guys uh today i'm gonna do a very simple tutorial on a beautiful photo that i have i took this at one of our local parks and i'm gonna do a, a tutorial on this tree and i'm just using this paper if you want to screenshot it or whatever acrylic paint i'll be using black and cad yellow maybe a little bit of brown or chestnut I'm not sure yet for the tree trunk um, definitely chestnut And chestnut for the tree trunk not a super complicated tutorial I want to keep it real simple <clears throat> um, the feedback that I'm getting on videos like this is really positive that these uh, little one lesson like single subject lessons are really helpful so I want to try to make as many of these that I can I always start with a tree trunk, but I'm starting to wonder if I should start with a tree. Mm, this is going to be a real big tree. Immediately with the cat hair on the paper. I've never painted on this paper before, so I don't know, I really don't know what to expect yet. Hmm. Just kind of messed that up a little bit, but <laughs> hopefully I can fix that. It's definitely interesting. It's not uh it's not like anything I've ever painted on before. It's surprisingly smooth. A lot smoother than I thought it was gonna be. I'm gonna start blocking in, I'm sorry, I didn't even tell you. This is just a flat brush from the Deco Clarity set. This is a bristle brush, like a hard round brush. This is the number 10 and it comes in a set of a bunch of other brushes. Hmm, I'm gonna start down here cause like this shape of this tree comes way this is such a beautiful tree. I love going to this park and taking pictures of this tree like at all times of the year. It's just beautiful. I'm going to just tap very lightly and I'm going to try to make sure that I don't have any like uh, any edges that are like like this. Kind of solid. I want to bring a couple little places out mix it up and I don't want to cover everything up on the inside with black I want to leave some places open up I just like the shape of this tree it just looks just looks nice try to remember to leave some space when I start to add highlights too that's also going to fill a lot of this in and I I want to go overboard like I always do I'm 
just going around the outside first just to get like the general shape of this tree. put some branches and stuff in there too after I get my highlights or at least my first layer of green I think I made my trunk a little bit too fat but I can't undo that so again Try not to make like a, I'm trying not to make like a solid edge. I'm just trying to like make sure I break it up everywhere. I want it to look real random out here. I don't know. I'm just going to wipe this brush off. I'm not going to get it wet because once you get these brushes wet, they, um, the hair kind of like clumps together and you don't get quite the same effect. And same method with the cad yellow and the black. Makes a really nice green. But it's gotta be kinda light to cover up all of that black. Oh, that's a little bit. Hmm, it might be okay. All right, now I'm just gonna start tapping right over top of that black, going outside of that black and I don't want to cover it all up. Don't cover up all your shadows. I said that word weird, weird shadows. It's 4.30 in the morning. I gotta get ready for work shortly. I'm just really trying to make more time for these tutorials. Put in a little more effort. <clears throat> We've been slacking lately. I think I've mentioned this before. I've just not been in the best like headspace lately. But I got a snap out of it. Outside of the black. And roll and flip and move your brush around. You know, don't just tap the same way every single time. Roll it. You'll get different patterns. That like I'm twisting it kind of in my hand. If you start to notice a repeating pattern, make sure you keep it in check. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. <laughs> if you start to notice repeat repeating patterns, you know, rotate your brush, twist it around, switch it up. Ooh, I'm about to go overboard. I don't want to cover up all my black. All right, now before I add my final layer of high highlight, I'm gonna do something with this tree trunk. What can I do? What brush can I use? Mm. I'm gonna use this little flat brush. It also comes in this set. And I'm gonna go in with my chestnuts. And I'm just gonna tap to give it some texture. A little bit darker up here, like where the leaves are casting a shadow on the bark. I 
This is kind of small, so I don't need a ton of details, but. And then, maybe I do need a, a smaller, smaller brush. This is just a small flat brush from the Deco uh, Fine Detail Set. And right here where I've got some light coming through the tree, I'm going to put a little branch in there. And don't worry about like how it looks like it's not within the leaves here. I'll fix that. I'm just going to put a couple of... They'll, they'll disappear and then reappear through the leaves. It's... I just got to get to that point. I'm just trying to, I'm trying to find another little place that might work with some branches. Let's make that one branch off a little bit. I'm picking places where you might actually see a branch because there's light coming through the tree here. I mean, it seems like a good spot, right? Let's do one more right there. I don't want to overdo it. And not very many highlights on this part. I'm not going to wash my brush. I'm just going to wipe off some of the black and then grab a little bit of that chestnut. Because this is uh, all inside the tree. It's not going to get a lot of light. So I want to leave it pretty dark. But I also need to put a little something on it make it stand out from all that black. So just a few little places here and there to switch up the color and make them stand out. I'm pretty sure I just said that already. I repeat myself a lot. <laughs> Ooh wee. I did not get a lot, a lot of sleep. I'm feeling a little groggy. I should probably use the hour or so that I have left before going to work. I should use that um, time better and sleep. <laughs> but here we are. All right, now, um, oh, I didn't mean to grab black, I'm sorry. Wipe that out. More yellow for just a final layer of highlight. And now I'm gonna, I'm gonna go over top of a little bit of these branches, just to set the branches back inside the tree so that, cause right now they all look like they're on, just on the outside of the tree. So, mm, that might not be light enough. Uh, start a little bit dark, I guess, maybe, and then adjust it as you need it. So um, now this layer of highlight is not going to go everywhere. Just here and there. I'm getting a repeating pattern, so I'm going to rotate. Now I'm going to start going over top of some of these branches. It's just going to kind of like push them back inside the tree. Still just tapping, not doing anything crazy. Now those branches look like they're inside the tree instead of just hanging out out here. If you liked today's video, give that like button a tap and please consider subscribing. 
You can also find me on Instagram and TikTok where I upload content almost daily. Thank you for watching.